Hey you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So the new Merchant Voyages have been out for a while now, and although they're mostly a buggy mess that needs some serious work, they're also a fun distraction from the other Voyages in the game. But like most things in this game, there is more to them than just loot and commendations. Get out of here you turnip! Sea of Thieves has now had three updates to their basic voyage types. The Gold Hoarders with their Gold Vaults. These were put in place by the Gold Hoarders themselves after the defeat of their leader. They scrambled to keep all the gold within the Gold Hoarders layer safe and hid them across the world in these ancient vaults for us to essentially steal and sell back to them. Doesn't make much sense at all, but let's just roll with it and remain quiet. And then the Order of Souls with their ghostly shipping counters, which are basically wandering astral ships left over from the Flameheart fleet event. They wander aimlessly with no purpose or direction, a bit like open crew galleons. You're sent out to basically mop up the remains of Flameheart's Amada. Both of these new voyage types have some form of backstory that ties into the lore, and I was hopeful that the new merchant missions would have this too, but from face value, there really is nothing. However, the merchant loot that we have been retrieving for years now, washed up at islands and dotted around the world in various world events, have never been indigenous to the Sea of Thieves. This loot has always floated in to the Sea of Thieves from an undisclosed location, possibly from beyond the Shroud and in the real world, or possibly cargo lost to the sunken vessels within the Shroud. Think about it. Tea, silks, exquisite spices, all of these things would be impossible to harvest within the climate of the seas that we sail in. So they are imported. With Season 1 being heavily inspired by the Shroudbreaker motif, title, and cosmetics, it seems to me that the merchants finally have a trade route in place to ship these commodities to the Sea of Thieves, which is essentially giving the merchants a lot of power within the seas. If the merchants found a way to keep the ships within the Sea of Thieves stocked with precious cargo used for cooking and ship maintenance, and sold them for a hefty price, they would technically have a strong foothold within the factions. Every pirate and every faction would need to come to them for their stock. All of these vessels sink to either crew incompetence or being lynched by an enemy vessel, which is very fitting considering the average skill level of most vessels in the seas. But one thing has always bothered me about their final resting place. If it was pirates that eventually sank them, why did these pirates not be pirates and steal all of their loot? Why would they leave their hold filled with this precious cargo that they could turn in for themselves? I mean, a simple wooden locked door would not stop them. Furthermore, why do a lot of the captains look as though they simply gave up? Some of them died suddenly whilst working, whereas others appear to be completely unaware of their demise, almost cherishing it. You could say, lured into a false sense of security. And of course, the biggest question is, where is the crew? Having a trade route outside of the Shroud means the beginning of civilization within the Sea of Thieves. This is the one thing that is feared the most within the seas. The second these seas become civilized, the age of piracy is over. But it's not just the pirates that fear this. Don't linger in the waters where the creatures are at play. The ocean's sons and daughters will lead our kind astray. Though many is the sailor who found themselves on land, after meeting with the strange that they could not understand. But if it's you they have chosen, they'll surround you with their kin. Your legs are bound and frozen in a wrap of silver skin. Soon you'll be understanding all the passes from their tongues. No food you'll be demanding, nor fresh air to fill your lungs. And they'll take you as their brother or their sister as they please and you'll just be another of the merfolk on the seas.
that's it for today folks, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video then please hit that like button, and if you really like the video please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you're always notified when I upload. And if you're looking for ways to support me please head over to my Patreon page where I offer tiers that give you perks for your support, link is in the pinned comments below. Until next time, take care of yourself and happy sailing, bye bye.